you might be wondering why I have all these random craft items in front of me right here. Well, as you know, I just so happen to be obsessed with Scooby-Doo from 2010. I already did this video did it almost two years ago. So like, I was just chilling watching Scooby- And just dropping me at parties. Yes. So I figured now it's time to try it again. So I've got some things here. I'm gonna try a different way to do this. Um, I've got some interesting things. I've got these sequins, two different sizes of sequins and two different packages. I'm going to cut them up into shapes. And then I've also got this head because unfortunately last time that I did it, it was near Halloween. So I could just go to the store and get like a skull. This is all they have at the store. So I'm gonna have to do some carving onto this thing to make it look more skullish. And then I also got these um, the unicorn ones, but they're a better size. So I figured that this would look better this time. Now also, last time you could see the styrofoam through the little uh, rhinestones that I put on it. So I got some metallic paint to put on it as a coat to make sure you don't see the underneath part of it. So this time it should be better than last time, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I've also got this black paint to paint the eyes. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carve this head to make it look more like a skeleton. Not gonna lie, this is kind of sus. Okay, there's that. That was easier than what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna cut off. Her ears were cut off. Her nose was cut off. Her legs were, <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, there we go. Maybe, I guess I can fill it in with hot glue and then paint over it because... They went really into detail with the teeth, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Here are my paint brushes. I'm gonna use this for the eyes and nose, and then I'll use this. Oh, and I'll also probably put it on the teeth area too. And then I'll use this for the rest of it to make it look shiny and dry.
I painted over the mouth like an idiot. So I went ahead and glued on all the little hair spikes and I tried to glue on some of the broken glass pieces, quotation marks, um, and I think it looks really good. This is going to look, this is going to turn out really good, but the hot glue unfortunately is making the pieces like bubble up because of the heat. So I'm going to have to get some other kind of glue to put on these little pieces. Here's a quick update. I've got the eyes and nose done, and I guess I'm gonna finish this flat part, and then I'll work on the spikes, and then I'll finish off with the mouth. This is taking forever. Okay, so I've finished more of the face. The teeth are done. I'm halfway done with the jaw at the bottom, and I've started to do one of the hair spikes. I am getting tired of this. I wanna quit right now. <laughs> Okay, so one spike is done. Here's half of another one, a fourth of another one. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five more left. This is just for the vibes. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, it absolutely looks amazing. Would I do this again? Hell no. Um, but the way that it reflects the light is amazing. The eyes look amazing, the nose look amazing, the teeth, a little crooked but they are crooked in the movie, so pretty accurate. Um, I also didn't have an actual skull to go off of, so I carved my own, and it doesn't have like an open mouth like the one in the movie, but who cares? This is, this is abstract, it's still amazing. The way it shines up against the wall, this is amazing. I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. It's gonna be in a museum one day. So thanks for watching.